Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm pulling together for the presidential study that my son will be working on for the next two years. We will be starting our early U.S. history and taking it all the way to the current modern history, not only of the United States, but of the world for the next two years. I'm going to break it into early U.S. to at, about, or just slightly after the Civil War. It just depends on how I figure out the program this summer. And then anything from that point on to now for his final school year. What I did is I pulled out some things because I do want him to cover the presidents. We've not really done that before. This is not a full unit. This is not a complete 100%. This is more of a tag along. Something I'm going to put into it and we'll work on it slowly. I have a notebook here I'll talk about in a minute. What we will do is when we hit those certain time frames of that particular president, then we'll cover him. And then every 10th president, he'll have to choose one of those 10 in that time frame, do a more in-depth report or study or some type of display about that particular president. So at the end, he will have at least four presidents covered in depth and then all of the presidents covered up to now. These I have had, and I've been collecting them over the years, and I have not purchased any new ones lately. So some of these are only go, like this one, to President Clinton. So, okay, what do you do? Well, you use your library. Now, I may purchase a more up-to-date President's one. I just haven't decided yet. Since he is my final student, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that. I obviously found this at the library, and I could keep just checking it out. I don't know yet, but I really like this one. It's by DK, and it covers all the way to the new president. And the nice thing is, it'll talk about the president, it'll talk about some information which could translate into what he needs over in the notebook. Then it has a few little insider stories. And then again, it goes to the next president. The artwork is beautiful. It talks about all of them. And then it goes to the First Ladies, which is very helpful. And then it talks about the different revolutions, the powers, the systems of electorals, the bills, the amendments, the different parts like the president would use, the House, the Oval Wing, the West Wing. I think they got Camp David in there, yep. It talks about a few of those national places to go to. And then it also, whoopsie shows you where they were born, it talks about the elections, and I know somewhere in here, vice presidents as well. So this is a really nice quality, well done book. It's not super in depth, but it gives you what you need. I may or may not get this, like I said. I found a different one, I don't know if it was by DK or not. I don't know. I'll figure that out when I get to that point. But look at your library for updated ones. Just do a quick run through. I have this one. I did want to show you what I had when my kids were younger, the story of the White House. I will have my son read this because it is interesting. It's by Kate Waters. And the nice thing is it has good pictures, info, maps, all that good stuff. And he can read through that because the White House is interesting and the whole story behind it. Here's a fun one for younger kids. Eleanor, she was a neat first lady, and this is a nice children's book. Pick that up. That is by Barbara Cooney. I do have this uh, first lady's book. I believe Barbara Bush was the last one listed, so obviously it's a little out of date. But again, more info on the ladies. And then I believe my mother-in-law had given us this presidents and first ladies table um, book, uh, coffee table book. And this I really like because it has the information, but it has a lot of nice artwork and pictures and more information, and this will help my son when he does his research. Okay, now I had purchased these presidential note cards, flash cards, uh, several years ago. The final one I have on here is um, Mr. Obama. So obviously I will need to get an updated one or create a card for President Trump. I don't know. I'm just, we're not even going to get to the modern presidents for some time, so I'll just keep my eye open for them. I think I got these from the dollar spot at Target, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to have to do some research and figure out where I found these. 
and, and see if I can get an updated one. It, like I said, if not, then I'll just create a card. But these flashcards are really great, and I know my daughter went through these several times when she was doing U.S. History. And I pulled these out the other day, and she was actually able to recall several of them. It's been many years since she went through these. So it does prove that doing flashcards does help you remember. Now this is what I really want to talk about. I wanted to purchase a nice president's notebook to have something, you know, that he can really have that's a nice presentation when he's finished and it's good quality. And I found that Heart of Dakota, under their Missions to Modern Marvels, has the President Student Notebook and it's $16.95. Now for some you may say that's a little too spendy, but I think you really do get a nice quality product. And if you can budget it in, go for it. If not, there's other options out there. I just wanted something colorful and good quality, and I really do like her stuff. So, you get a cover for the binder. Now, I wasn't sure if I even wanted to do the binder thing, but because it was already pre-punched, that's what I'm going with. Each page has four presidents on it, you know, front to back. The artwork is nice, the paper is very high quality, very thick, very colorful. Each section for each president has the year of birth and death, date of birth, year of the presidency, party affiliation, if there was a first lady, what was her name, memorable or unusual facts, significant events during his presidency, and some presidents will have absolutely nothing there and others will have way more than you can list. Uh, the life before they became a president, and any famous quotes. And then the, obviously this goes through all of the presidents. Now the tenth one is John Taylor, so up to this point, and then he's going to have to go back through, decide who he wants to do his report on, and then we'll be able to pop that in around that president, and then we'll have a nice little extra collection in there. I may come up with more things than that. This is just what I'm tossing around in my head at this point. And then the only thing is it um, went up to um, Barack Obama, and then obviously when they were printing this, they didn't know who the next president was going to be. So I do hope that they will update this, but I do know that that can be expensive. So all I did was just go to Wikipedia and print a picture and then just glued it on. And then eventually, four to eight years from now, you're going to need more of these pages, and I'm assuming she will add in as it becomes needed. So keep that in mind. And then I found that I had created this timeline of the presidents way back when it goes up, way back when, for my daughter. And I believe it is like a lap book or something like that. I just couldn't tell you to save my soul where I got this from. It was that long ago. I've been looking through my stuff. Hope, hopefully I have it. If I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, these first two pages have all this nice clip art and these little extra doodads of info. But after that, so either I have them printed and they're just lost in a folder somewhere, or I don't know. What I had to do today, though, was I had to add this extra sheet. Uh, this one only went up to George Bush, so I had to add uh, Mr. Obama and Mr. Trump. And then I left some spaces for the future. So I just kind of ad-libbed a little bit and put it together. What I did is I took a full-size sheet and then I three ringed it and then every sheet after this is cut down to 11 and a half by 7 I'm sorry 11 by 7 and then that way it sits inside the framework here and then what you'll do is you'll just put the piece of paper down and then tape it when it's facing each other so it lays flat I did two colors you don't have to but this way when we are talking about the different presidents you can pull it out and look at them like I said, I'm going to look for the additional information. If I can't find it, oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. But I thought that'd be kind of fun to stick in his, his presidential notebook as well. So this is all I have right now for this. Again, this will be tied into his main history course. It is not a standalone project. It's a adding in. You can do this for children, I would say, higher elementary, junior high, high school because it does require some research and writing nicely. I don't know. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But for us, this is going to work for us, and it should turn out nice. I'm hoping it will. 
And then uh, next year, when we start getting into the early presidents, I can show you what it looks like when we're getting through a few of these. But uh, again, we won't even start this until next fall. Actually, it probably won't even be till closer to January because we have to cover some of the early American colonial times when there were no presidents. So, anywho, that's what we got. I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions or comments, place them down below. The link for the Heart of Dakota page on this I will put in the description box. And until next time, folks, take care.